Hello everyone. My name is Mrs. Kanika Joshi. In today's lecture, we will learn about the programmable peripheral interface IC 8255. Why do we need this IC and its interfacing with microprocessor 8085? As the name suggests, the programmable peripheral interface is a supporting IC of microprocessor which is used for the purpose of interfacing with other peripherals or memory. This IC is needed by the microprocessor because most of the microprocessor's work is either to read or write data from memory or peripheral, but there are no dedicated lines for the interfacing purpose. Hence, 8255 IC is used. The main advantage of 8255 IC is that they can be programmed to do variety of interfacing functions. The architectural block diagram of 8255 consists of three input output ports namely group A, port B and port C. Now port A and port B are 8 bit input output ports whereas port C can be divided into two parts port C upper and port C lower both consisting of four pins. The group A control is used to control the functioning of port A and port C upper, whereas group B control is used to control the functioning of port B and port C lower. The data bus buffer is a set of special registers which are used to store data which is either coming from the microprocessor or going towards the microprocessor. When the data is going towards the microprocessor, it is supplied by either of the three ports. Then, for the overall control or functioning of this IC, we have a special block known as read write control logic block. It consists of some very important control signals. These control signals or control lines are coming from the microprocessor to the peripheral. The most important among them is the chip select. The chip select line acts as a virtual switch which is used to select this IC. Other important signals are The read signal is used whenever a data from data bus buffer is sent to the microprocessor and the write signal is used whenever data from microprocessor is stored into the data bus buffer of the IC. The reset circuit is used to reset the functioning of the whole IC and A1 and A0 address lines are used to select one of the three ports that is port A, B or C. Now, the programming of the IC is controlled by, by microprocessor by giving a control word. This control word is stored in the read write control unit in a special register known as control word register. So, first Using the A1 and A0 IC, a signal is sent to the microprocessor. In this example, the value of A1 and A0 is 11, hence the control register is selected. Then, the write signal is activated and the data is stored into the control word register. Now, if we want to send some data or receive some data from any of the ports, say port A, then the value of A1 and A0 will become 0 0 okay and this and and the and then the port a will be selected and the data will be directly written or read from the port a now before understanding the interfacing between 8255 ic and microprocessor 8085 let us first look at the pin diagram of 8255 on my left side, I have the actual pin diagram and on the right side, there is the logical representation of it. Now, as we can see, the upper half of the IC is, is given to the port A pins, A0 to A8. The lower half of the IC is given to port B. On the right, we have the port C pins and on the left, we have the data lines. The control lines like chip select, read, etc. are provided in the upper half side of the IC. In this diagram, we have we are in, in this diagram, an interfacing between the 8085 and 8255 IC is shown. 
Now, for the purpose of interfacing, we need to select the chip select signal. For that, first, we need our address lines AD0 to AD15. These lines, as we know from our previous lecture, that the lower half of the address line are first given to the 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 address latch, which is activated using the ALE signal, and the upper half of the lines remain unchanged. So, in this diagram, we can see the lines AD0 to AD7 are passing through the uh, address latch. Okay, now we have because of the address latch, it is A0 to A7 data is available to us. Now this data is given to the to the 3 to 8 decoder from which we are generating our chip select signal. Because of the use of a decoder, a unique chip select signal is generated which is applicable only to our particular 8255 IC. Once the chip select is enabled, then the data can be either received or transmitted from the microprocessor to the 8255 IC. Now, in the previous slide, we have understood the concepts of hardware interfacing between 8085 and 8255 IC. The 8255 IC can be used to transfer data under various conditions. This can be done by providing different control words to the IC. Now, what is the control word? The contents of the control register are called the control word and they specify the different functions of each port. There are two types of control words for the PPI IC, IO mode and BSR mode. IO mode means input output mode and BSR mode stands for bit set preset mode. In input output mode, each port is assigned, or for example, port A is assigned to work either as the input mode or as the output port. Also, the mode of operation for each port is also decided. There are three types of modes of operation mainly mode 0, mode 1 and mode 2 which will be explained later in this slide. The second type of control word is bit set preset mode in which each pin of port C is assigned a binary value of either 1 or 0. Mode 0, simple input output mode. Now as seen in this diagram, in mode 0, port A and port B are used as two simple 8-bit ports and port C as two 4-bit ports. Each port can be programmed to function as in simple input or output port. Mode 1. In mode 1, port A and port B act as, act as simple input or output port, whereas port C upper works as control lines or bidirectional input output lines for port A and Port C lower works as bidirectional input output control lines for mode B. So, the word strobe here means additional signal. Mode 2 or bidirectional input output mode. In this mode, only port A works as a bidirectional port, that is, it can work both as input and output port, and five lines of port C are assigned as control signals for port A. The remaining three lines work as bidirectional independent lines whereas port B will work as simple input output mode or in mode 0 because no control lines are available to it. Now let us consider as a, an example. In this example interfacing between 8255 and ADC is shown where Port A works as an input port, port B works as an output port, and port C, both the lines are working as independent input output lines. To program this control word, first we need to understand the control word format. Control, the size of the control word is 8 bit, where each bit has a specific work for it. D7. If the bit D7 is assigned 1, then this control word is an input output mode control word. If it is assigned 0, then it is a bit set reset mode. The rest of the bits from D6 to D3 are assigned to group A. So, bit D6 and D5 
indicate which in which mode port A and port C upper will be working either in 00, mode 0, mode 1 or mode 2. If pin D4 is assigned as 1, that means port A is working in input mode. If it is 0, then port A is working as the mode, output port. Same goes for port C. If 1, then port C upper is working as an input port. If 0, then port C is working as an output port. The, the bits D0 to D2 are assigned to the group, two, group B, where D2 bits tells us in which mode the port the port B and port C lower are working. Because port B and port C work only in two modes, so only a single bit is provided for 1 and 0. Now, for our problem, let us design our control word. Since we are working as input-output mode, we have assigned a 1. Okay. Now, according to the question, we need our port 0 to work in mode 1 so that port C upper can work as control lines. So D6 and D5 are assigned 0, 1. D4 that is for port A which is working as an input port is assigned 1. D3 that is working for port C upper where PC7 was an output going line so it is assigned 1. Bit number D2, D1 and D0 are assigned uh, are, are assigned for port B. So again port B working in mode 1 where port B is working as independent input output where port B is working as output and port C is working as input. So our control word is formed to be 95H. 95 being the hexadecimal value denoted by H. We are going to use bit set reset control word format. D7 will be 0 because it is BSR mode. D6, D5 and D4 they are not used so they are generally set to 0. Pin number start from 0 to 7. So bit D3 to D1 are used to select the pin numbers. If D3, D2, D1 all are 0 that means we have, we have chosen pin number 0. If 001 then pin number 1 and so on and the value that is to be sent on this pin is set in the bit number d0 which is either 1 or 0. So for our example because we need to set the output data of pc0 as 1 0 uh, d7 0 d6 d5 d4 0 d3 d2 d1 0 0 0 and d0 as 1. So, our control word becomes 01H, again hexadecimal. I hope you have understood the formation of control words through these slides. For the preparation of this slide, I have used the book Microprocessor Architecture, Programming and Applications with 8085, written by Ramesh Gaunkar as reference. I hope you have liked my video and if you have any question, kindly mail them to my email id. Hope you have liked this lecture. Thank you.